Hi guys, in this video, I will be reacting some sodium nitrite with some hydrochloric acid. All that we need for this reaction is some sodium nitrite, which is NaNO2, and some hydrochloric acid. This hydrochloric acid is yellow color because this is commercially available hydrochloric acid, so it has some dyes added into it. Pure hydrochloric acid is colorless and some test tubes and a spatula so all that would be happening in this reaction is sodium nitrite would react with hydrochloric acid to give us sodium chloride uh, nitrogen monoxide and ni nitrogen dioxide and some water nitrogen dioxide is a reddish brown colored gas and nitrogen monoxide is a colorless gas you can't notice the evolution of uh, nitrogen monoxide because it is a uh, colorless gas it is a colorless gas and uh, moreover this nitrogen monoxide would react with the uh, atmospheric oxygen and further oxidize itself to give us uh, nitrogen dioxide eventually S and this is a disproportionation reaction here in nitrite the nitrogen is in the plus 3 oxidation state here it disproportionates to uh, oxidation state which is uh, one, one oxidation state which is lower than the original initial one here in this case it is plus 2 and another oxidation oxidation state which is greater than the initial oxidation state which is plus 4 plus 4 in the case of nitrogen dioxide and plus 2 in the case of nitrogen monoxide so let's start with this reaction some sodium nitrite is taken in the into a test tube with the help of a spatula. You can add some more. And then you need to take some hydrochloric acid with the help of a dropper. As soon as I add this hydrochloric acid, notice the evolution of the gas, that is from gas into the NO2. Oh, that was very beautiful effervescence out there. Be careful while uh, performing this experiment because a nitrogen dioxide gas is uh, harmful to the health. You can see the beautiful evolution of hydrogen, uh, nitrogen dioxide gas. At one stage, on further addition of hydrochloric acid, there would be no no further evolution of gases. This indicates the end point of the reaction. <coughs> this is a good example of a disproportionation reaction. And mm, that's all from my side on this video. Please do like, share, comment, and please do subscribe. And uh, please support my Patreon channel, uh, Patreon page if you like these videos by donating a dollar or so, for which I would uh, provide a link down in the description. Thanks for watching.